Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing right away. In this video, you will learn how to create glass tube with bands process graphic in PowerPoint. It's a very simple graphic to create, though it looks a bit complex. The beautiful glass tube with bands process graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. This is the glass tube. Then on a click, we bring in the bands, each representing a stage in the process like this. Of course, you can have this glass tube as thin as you want and you can have as many bands as you want and it's totally flexible. Let's see how to create this beautiful graphic from scratch. The first step is to go to Auto Shapes Gallery. Then from basic shapes, we are going to pick up this one called a cylinder graphic and I'm going to use the cylinder tool to draw the graphic like this. Then I'm going to go to arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees so that I can create this beautiful tube like structure and I can extend it for as much length as I want. Then I need to create the bands. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From flowchart, you will find a very interesting shape called as flowchart stored data. I'm going to select that and I'm going to draw the bands like so. Can you see here? The next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that the height of this is the same as the height of the tube. So I'm going to first select the tube, go to format and look at what is the width here. The width is 3.54 centimeters. So this one needs to have the height as 3.54 centimeters, whereas this one is only 3.37. So I'm going to write 3.54 and I'm going to hit enter. Now you can see that both of them match. I'm going to make multiple copies of this while holding the control button down. I'm going to move it to the next location, the next location and the next location. Now, there are a few things that I need to do to make sure that this looks the way that we intend it to be. First, I'm going to select this, right click and send this to back and I'm going to move this to the left so that I can clearly see the curvature here. Now, if you see the curvature of this shape that we had just chosen is different from the curvature of this tube. So I'm going to select this cylinder tool and I'm going to use the adjustment handle to move it to the left so that the curvature is in line with the way that we want it. So you can see now the curvature is matching pretty much. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, since this is matching, I can bring this to the front by saying bring to front option, right clicking. Then I'm going to ensure that there is equal space between each of these bands. So I'm going to select all these bands one after another and then go to home tab, arrange and say align, distribute horizontally. So equal amount of space is kept. Then I'm going to give each of these a different color. I'm going to select the first one, go to shape fill, choose a red color and then go to shape fill, go to gradient and I'm going to choose this option of gradient called as linear up. So you can see that it is slightly darker here and lighter over here. I'm going to say shape outline, no outline. Then I'm going to select the second one and choose a different color, maybe something as bright as this or maybe something like orange color, shape fill and then go to gradient and choose the same linear up and no outline. Let us choose green one for this, go to shape fill, gradient and the same linear up and no outline. For this one, let us choose maybe something like this, shape fill, gradient and linear up and no outline. For this one, which needs to be looking like a simple glass tube, I'm going to right click, go to format shape and go to fill option and choose a gradient fill. And I'm going to choose one of the preset gradients here. And the one that I'm choosing is this one called as medium gradient accent three. And then for the leftmost one, which is the gradient stop here, I'm going to choose a much darker gradient and I'm going to change the direction to this one and you can see that instantly I'm able to have a beautiful glass like effect shown and the outline needs to be slightly lighter like say uh, this one and we are done. Finally, all that is left for us to do is to select these text elements and that would complete our graphic. 
I'm just going to paste them and let us do some small adjustments in terms of their location so that it looks proper. And then to animate these elements, the first thing I'm going to do is to select this band here, which is going to first enter from left by using fly in animation from left. And once this enters, we are going to have this bit, which is the explanation for that fade after previous. So the first one is ready. And we're going to do the same thing for the next one as well. Fly in from left. And then we are going to have this one fade in after previous. We are going to do the same thing for this one as well. I'm going to select that fly in and say from left. And then this one has to be fading in after. So we are going to say fade after previous. Of course, you can save time by selecting all these elements and applying animation in one go. Then by going to animation pane and then adjusting the positions of the individual elements. But then I'm doing it slowly for each step so that you can understand the process one after another. And we are going to have this complete with fade after previous. You can see so this is how the various animation events are lined up. Now when I go to the slideshow mode, the way the whole thing looks is first this represents a process. Then on a click, I bring in the first event, the second event, third event and the fourth event. So that is how this beautiful glass tube with bands process diagram works. And needless to say, if you're someone who is busy and smart and wants to invest the time in building the content and strengthening the content rather than wasting time creating graphics from scratch, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is the right solution for you. This bundle has more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to convert any boring text-based slide into clear and compelling visual slide in a matter of minutes. Let me show you some example templates from our all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The first example is this, which shows the three steps in a process. Then we have the next one where you can see that the three steps are shown in a very different way. The next one has four step process. You can see here that we label each of the steps and bring explanation on a click. And then the next one shows the movement from one stage to another in a very interesting way like this. As you can see, the viewer's eyes are guided to each step of the process. And the next example is this one where we talk about the transitions between the various steps. And the ones that I had shown you are just a few example templates from a massive collection of templates from comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. It is arguably the smartest and fastest way to create top-notch presentations, especially when there is a lot at stake. I will leave a link to comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle in the description box below the video. Please click on the link and find more details about this useful product. Finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. The tips that I share here are very simple and easy for anyone to follow. So please click on the link, join the newsletter and I will see you inside.